Things have changed since those hard-fisted days. And today the eyes of a continent are drawn towards this 35,000 square miles of British Columbia. At Cache Creek, the southern threshold, comes the first real breath of the caribou. The hardship and rugged trails of the pioneers have gone. British Columbia's guests now glide over modern highways. West towards Lillooet is Marble Canyon, mighty, inspiring. Like many of the caribou's mysteries, Marble Canyon's story will remain locked away forever. Lillooet, rich in history and minerals, haunted big game, the original start of the old Caribou Highway, and now a division point of the Pacific Great Eastern, the railway with a personality, and a good way to see the caribou. Blasting the passage through mountains and chasms for this unique railway was a project as bold as any undertaken by the early pioneers. Back on the Caribou Highway, 27 miles north of Cache Creek is Clinton, born during hectic gold rush days. Clinton Hotel, oldest on British Columbia's mainland. Within these walls, schemes were whispered when men's eyes sought the fabulous north. Nearby is the chasm. Here a million winds have sighed unheard. North of Clinton is one of the original stagecoach stopping places, where dusty men found refreshment. Today, the area is noted for its many resorts. Like a magic ribbon, the highway from 70 Mile House passes Lac La Hache, noted for scenery, fishing, and hospitality. And onto the town of Williams Lake, shipping center for caribou cattle. Some of the world's best cattle come from the caribou. The cowboy's job calls from miles and miles on horseback as he rides his fences. He works hard and long and brings his cattle in from the lush foothills at roundup time and gathers the calves for branding. Work and no play would make even a caribou cowboy dull. Each summer, riders make their way to Williams Lake for the annual stampede, a spectacular event of the West. They are joined by Indians, many of whom start the journey weeks ahead of the big day and watch the miles jog slowly past. The Stampede Grounds, one of the most beautiful natural arenas on Earth. One horse motors warming up, and the excitement mounts. Pairback blocks, every muscle bent on getting the rider off. Cowboy must try to stay aboard for eight seconds. Now the saddle box. The saddles don't seem to help. <laughs> Northwards, the highway again joins the Fraser River. Then, Quinnell, 83 miles from Williams Lake. 
Like Williams Lake, Quesnel is served by air and road transport, as well as the Pacific Great Eastern Railway. Quesnel has plenty of space for the family picnic. Nearby is Williams Creek, first and most famous in all the caribou. For 10 decades, the sands of Williams Creek have been sifted. And on its banks, Barkerville grew to be the largest city in British Columbia. That was yesterday, long, long ago. Not many people live in Barkerville nowadays. The numbers of visitors are thoughtful people who would pay homage to a great past and to a great memory of humans whose courage equaled the mighty land. Ah! 